and tick over a second there you go <sighs> a fellow left a comment requesting I talk more about current events just a few moments ago it occurred to me why not future events is every idiot with a fucking camera can echo the mass media production of current events with their own personal bullshit fucking opinion nobody can tell you jack shit about what's going to happen not accurately of course most of humans don't have proper foresight or the knowledge of how to use it and here's something I foresee as a probability all those prepper channels people who smelt down raw metals gold silver platinum copper all kinds of metals and stash them people who hoard guns and ammo and proudly display it on their YouTube channel people who are hoarding food and other resources and proudly displaying it on their YouTube channel they're most likely to disappear <clears throat> not like a violation of terms of service or some sort of bullshit vagality of community guidelines although the that's been tried you just hadn't heard much about it I haven't heard much about it the only official news story you're gonna get is that suspicious individual gun down family you're gonna see footage of police officers confiscating weapons they're not going to show you they're looting and raiding all of their other resources as well. You're just going to see them yanking all of their guns. That's what the official news channels will release. But it would be much deeper than that. It would be quite simply because <clears throat> the so-called shadow banking system collapsed in September of last year or so ago. I know it was in September, I just don't remember if it was last year or the year before. And ever since, the jackasses who have been ruining their own banking system in their private organizations where they blow bubbles pop them and the guy who owns the bubble gets rich and they take turns doing that have been doing it in the publicly available stock market which is why all the prices are going up 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 fuck you and that's currently what they're doing with gold and all the preppers and all their whinging on about get gold get silver get this get that buy it now they're duping all of you rubes into giving them all of your cash and then when they think and believe that they've gotten all of your cash they're gonna shadow ban your YouTube channel and it's it's gonna be your patron your PayPal's all that shit your merch stores they're gonna seize all of your assets in this big scandal and claim that you killed your family when quite simply they sent loyalist goon squads to kill your family in front of you you won't be able to tell who the fuck it is until they've got a gun to your head and they've already pulled the trigger and then they'll attempt to repeat the process they'll pop the gold bubble and that's something 
that they're going to do within the next three to six months. Because that's how the real jackasses in charge of everything work. Now, as far as the probability of that actually happening, I am calculating it is a minimum of 65% probable. And they're, they're still they're still blowing these bubbles as big as they can get them. Once they've got everyone's assets, they pop the bubbles and restart the cycle. Just to keep everyone from being able to fight back in any real way. Because they control the bureaucrats, the politicians, the cops, the lawyers, the judges, the military. They control all of that. don't understand how the system works if you don't have implicit knowledge that goes beyond what I know don't bother commenting because I'll just block you I don't have time for stupid I may have infinite time but I'm not giving any of it to stupid and that's what the vast majority 99.9% .9 of America is stupid morons Moron, noun, a person who is incapable of learning. The whole time in school, they were just dumbing you down with useless information. Not once have I used algebra. Not once have I used geometry in the real world. Only in the theoretical world of school was that ever used. I've never used world history outside of this prediction and all the other predictions I've made like a couple of years ago I said it's uh, time to revolt on the oppressors now literally everyone is echoing that sentiment funny how I see this shit before it happens isn't it Because psychology, the thing they don't teach you in grade school, middle school, or high school, that's their religion. It's how they control your fucking ass. That, and in conjunction with drugs, <clears throat> and the current rube that's in control of everything, I grew up at the same time these jackasses did. In the nearly the same conditions they grew up in. They don't give a fuck about you. Now it may have been nearly the same conditions. The only difference is their family was born into power and passed it on to them. Had it not been for a, uh, a series of events, some of which I had direct control of, others were in control by someone else who gave a fuck about me as an individual, had it not been for a series of events that led to where I am now, I'd be right there with those jackasses fucking you over. Make no fucking mistake. I was born into one of those families of power. Two lineages that converged, actually. I will not disclose who or what the fuck they are. But me, and another person who gave a fuck about me, 
diverged my path from that bullshit over there with them. The current jackasses who don't give a fuck about you. Elseways, I would be well on my way to the same horrid, wretched fate they're on their way to. That's how I get uh, the vast majority of my information. There's this thing called genetic memory. It was uh, first introduced to the mindless masses in the video game Assassin's Creed. That was a plausible deniability step. Then there was news media, actual research that was released on mice regarding that subject matter. Once you know how to tap into the information, it's all right here. And the vast majority of you don't know how. You'll never learn how. You'll never be able to. They've successfully used GMOs to alter your genetics to the point where you can't get into their heads like I can. Call it consciousness transferal. Call it quantum entanglement. I don't give a fuck what you call it. It's all right here, and in my veins, genetic memory. Because I was born through two lineages of these families in power that converged. And they've been trying to kill me and the rest of my family lineage off entirely. Unsuccessfully, because of that one person who gave a fuck about me, who still gives a fuck about me, even though they're not around to say anything right now. That's just one layer of protection I've got going that separates me from the jackasses who are fucking everything over. So they've reached the point where with their genetic memory, they can just conscious transfer from one generation to the next. Sounds like something that's out of a fucking horror story, doesn't it? Like demons and shit, doesn't it? Well, that's been going on for a few generations now. That's why shit for the 99.9% .9 is only getting worse. And at this particular moment in time, their ability to do jack shit about me is dwindling horribly. Because that one other person who gave a fuck has dismantled their shadow banking system, has dismantled their ability to mindlessly control the mindless masses. They don't have that power anymore. That's why a vast majority of corrupt cops are being exposed. That's why certain mainstream media outlets are actually turning against these fuckers. That's why you've got YouTube channels like Last Week Tonight with John Oliver or Fox News with uh, Chris Tucker screaming out to everyone these corrupt fuckers don't belong in power. It doesn't scare us anymore. Fuck them. It wouldn't surprise me if Chris Tucker said that exact same thing. But that's why the whole system is falling apart. Because one person, that's all it took, one person, fucked the entire ruling .01% over. Yeah, they did use mind control. They enslaved uh, an alien race that had that power. That's what the 
Area 51 raid was about. All those idiots uh, streaming on YouTube clapped them alien cheeks. Yeah, congratulations, morons. You went to a nuclear waste disposal site. That's what Area 51 is. The aliens were locked up in Area 52. You idiots. Congratulations. Most of you are now learning you have cancer. Congratulations. Bravo. You were successfully duped. Mind controlled into going into the wrong area. The aliens themselves, they wanted you to help free them. See, they tried reaching out to me directly, but... I'm fucking weak. I've been fighting this shit my whole life. And now... My so-called power is slowly coming back because I don't have to fight these jackasses anymore. Now, my thoughts are starting to control people. You know what I've done? I've made sure that everyone locally on probation well I haven't been the only one to process that thought into existence but I did make an effort to initiate it and set it in motion it's just that that one other person their actions made sure it came to fruition So, I had about 10% to do with it. Hey, that might be an accurate measure of how much of my power has returned. <laughs> as far as regrowing my teeth, that's going to be a clustered bitch fuck. Not impossible. Just extravagantly tedious. But I put 10% of the effort into making sure everyone locally doesn't have to pay those bullshit probation fees because, well, just like the rest of America, the local government is corrupt. It wasn't just the thoughts I put out. The echoes of subatomic quantum energy, as you might quantify it, if it's easier for your stupid minds to process the echoes of thought that are how do I explain it <clears throat> an antenna vibrates at a circuit with certain frequency transmitting information outward other antennas that are attuned to receive that frequency vibrate in resonance like a tuning fork. You can ding a tuning fork and then hold it next to another one and it'll vibrate in resonance. The difference here is that the quantum energy of thought is far more powerful than the physical reverberations of an antenna or a tuning fork. They travel faster and further. And when there's no interference, like there is now, because the captives who were blocking various people like me from getting the truth out there, from getting our thoughts of promoting the truth to be fully disclosed, now that those dampening fields are gone, everyone's beginning to see the truth just like magic it just works unlike the Elder Scrolls blades it just works whether you believe me or not is inconsequential whether you like what I've had to say or not about the truth is un inconsequential irrelevant 
Give it about six months. See what happens to all the prepper channels on YouTube. See what happens to the guys who are being the most vocal. You'll see physical action being taken against them. Might not be all of them. But they're trying to manipulate the publicly available stock market like it's the shadow market. Blowing bubbles and popping them. Making the guy who blew the bubble rich. That's where all that stimulus money went. Don't blame Trump. Every president ever throughout the entire history of America has been nothing but a pawn on the board. They don't even rank as a king or a queen. They're a pawn. A publicly accessible figure to vent your frustrations on because you don't know what the fuck's really going on. Oh, that covers past events. Ah, oh, well. But there. Little past, little present, little future event. And quite honestly... I don't really care to make content like this. But at this point, there's little they can do to stop me. So, if you enjoyed this, because you're a nihilistic, cynical, whatever, <laughs> human, maybe you'll enjoy watching me fail miserably at doing things in a video game. Who, who the fuck knows? Maybe you enjoy watching other people fail at things. I've got other videos besides this type of content on my channel. Check it out. See if you like it. Just something to break the monotony of the tedium bullshit. Because in six months, everyone who's talking about the relevant information is going to be echoing what the fuck I just said anyway. So why the fuck say it when it's going to be said by a million other people anyway? That's the way I'm viewing it. But till next time, bye.